In this video, we are going to finish the movie details activity. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel and the Complete Android Developer Course. So, till now, we have finished the, the search here. So, if we search about fast and we get the results by using retrofit. So, if we click on this, we get the details activity here. Now, this uh, details activity has no logic inside it because uh, we didn't get the title, the image, and the uh, rating and the, the overview. In this video, we are going to get all of this stuff and display the, the, the details inside this activity. So, first, I would introduce, uh, I make a short introduction about this. So, if we if we search on the site the moviedb.org. And we search about the fast, we get the same results as here. So, I would uh, m make a, a, some a notice for you and a quick notice and quick note that any movie that we select have its ID. And I told you that I've posted the, in the, the moviedb.org and uh, on the retrofit. Uh, and they told me that they solved the error. But till now, we don't need the, the, the ID to be introduced inside the Android Studio. I need to copy this and I uh, want to search about it. So if we have this, I want to, to show you a, a thing before we start moving, uh, making our application. So if we get this, I will copy this and go to the json uh, dot com, sorry, and I make process and I will get this JSON file. Remember guys, we have a poster pass. This is a poster pass. And I have here a backdrop path. So I have two images. Let me show you what are the difference between them and what we are going to use inside the uh, Android Studio. So I will open the notepad. I have uh, put this uh, notepad uh, documentations inside, uh, inside uh, the resources below and all the source codes are available to download on the Udemy course. So get it from the resources below and I will paste it it is not found. I need the relative backdrop path here. I will copy it and I will paste it here. Copy and I get this, this backdrop path. If I get the image of the poster path, I will get the image that is um, shown in the inside the application. So. I've got this poster. So I have a poster and a backdrop inside our list. I have used the poster path. And if I click this, I will, I need to get the backdrop path. Okay, guys. So back to Android Studio. I will close this and I will start using the movie model instance that we are, have created and get it the, the possible extra from the intent used in the movie list activity. Okay. So first of all, the title details dot set text, I will put it as movie model dot get title okay it will get the title and description details dot set text is equal to movie db or movie sorry model dot get get movie overview and i will get the rating bar dot set rating and I will set the rating and set the 
rating according to movie details as movie model dot get movie vote average okay and the same way i will get using glide the image of and the poster of the movie glide with this as its context and i get load as i told you before let me see the recycler view here as i told you there is um a constant a constant thing a constant here let me show you a constant url which is this used for all images and a relative url or a variable url according to the movie that we are going to select so first of all i will st i will copy this the constant okay and i will get the variable part of this image plus movie model dot get poster path dot into and movie details image view details okay now let me run the app and see how it works and here we go guys so if i click uh, like this image i have get this poster okay guys it's working fine and we have the error in the layout we are going to fix it soon but till now the logic of the app and the business logic of this app is working correctly okay now let me uh, get uh, let me see if i can make uh it's uh, here i can make some uh, some uh, some uh, animation for or uh, uh, like effects for the image using glide and put the the, the these this uh, data on it or we can we have an um, layout other layout like using the backdrop uh, poster or backdrop path of the image and we can use it so i need your comments below what type of uh, of thing you need you you like what type of images you like so I will pause the video and I will make changes and I will told you the changes that now let's make our application looks more professional okay we are going now next couple of minutes to make the details of uh, details uh, layout looks more professional okay so I need to create a linear layout here wrap content and wrap content for the height and the width and i will copy and paste this cut and paste them all of these text views and rating bar and the width would be here and orientation would be vertical text view match parent and the rating bar would be uh, match parent okay We're starting the app and adding the constraint for the linear layout okay and match parent for it padding top or padding left would be 16 dp and run again okay we will search for fast And click the move so it is here making changes okay so we have full image as a background for the this layout and we need to make 
sum i need that to uh, like divide over two okay so now it will works now it's working okay the rating is working now we see that the title uh, would be confused uh, and the overview would be confused uh, we are going to create a shadow background with the gradient effect so uh, I go to drawables click new drawable and I will name it as a shadow gradient or background this shadow gradient background I will paste it and it, it, this is the code of it you can download the source code from the resources below on the Udemy course so click on the Udemy course and uh, get the free coupon on your, our YouTube channel and you can download all source codes of our channel from our uh, Udemy course now I will make the background here as shadow background and now it's uh, looking more better because we are we need to uh, make some edits we need to make the color of the text view here as white white and it would be white it will looks good and decrease the size of it and here we go it's working fine and the gradient would be good the shadow is working fine now i need to get the overview of the movie and everything is working fine uh, i will make here the size would be 12 sp so remember to use sp with text and dp with images and other uh, widgets okay so running again and the overview would be seen here okay guys sometimes you may have encountered the uh, errors i don't know why yeah uh, android studio is not getting uh, the the overview and the description of the text view in the text view and now i will get it from the look cat now let's try to get it from the look cat uh, i have contacted and posted many questions on um, on the retrofit uh, website and the the moviedb.org and uh, I have many, many answers. Uh, and they thank me for making uh, like this, this, this dispute. And they are fixing it. They told me they are fixing the API. Okay. So. Because we are getting a null. And everything is working fine. Um. Let me check also the the details, the movie details, or the movie model class. Let's check the movie model class. Uh, remember, guys, we are getting a movie overview, and if we go back to the uh, we see, uh, to the movie J or the JSON that we are getting, we have a serialized name called overview we should get an overview also because we are uh, we have missed it so a movie overview here should be exposed also and serialized name in order to get the overview and pass it into a string called movie underscore overview so i told you to be careful with making uh, like details or like the uh, movies movie application or other api uh, activities and so here we get it the error was in the serialized name so the retrofit is not fetching it into the correct uh, variable okay so amazing we are professional app uh, developers and we are proud of ourselves because we have made it, it made it and very good guys and now fixing some uh, special uh, things okay 
I hope guys you uh, support us by rating us 5 stars on Udemy, pushing us making new tip videos by rating us 5 stars and subscribing to our YouTube channel, hit like and subscribe and comment so you help us making and producing many and many videos, okay? And everything is working very very good okay in this way we have a professional look for our application so if we try to see all the movies we get it it's contrast and and good for all uh, types of the layouts and types of the movie backgrounds we deserve five stars on our hard work be honest rate us five stars on udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, and, and master coding channel, comment, and uh, like. Don't, don't miss to download our application master coding on Play Store. On